Okay, we're back with um, with working on its hands here and the flag. So, one thing we need to do is we need to put this post from the flag, the pole, or the stick he's holding it on, across. So we're going to cut across there. Just exactly where this starts. You can use your knife as a straight edge to go right across. Okay, right like so. And we're going to bring this down towards that. Okay, and then bring this side down. Looks like it's a rounded pole. Alright, just like so. I'm just rounding off the pole right now on both sides just round it off the best you can it's okay if it sticks out behind the flag a little bit and that flag is sticking out that's perfectly fine I'm gonna take a little more off right there awesome that worked out good now we're gonna just round this off a little bit towards that pole or to that stick all right so that's what the flag looks like we're going to flatten this out a little bit and we have it going down straight down like so all right that's how it looks all right we're going to trim a little of this out uh, behind it so let's take this at an angle and just take your knife and go in pretty deep and then we're going to uppercut on behind it so it looks like that flag is just sticking out a little bit that's perfect exactly what I wanted okay so that looks like that little flag is just sitting there we're going to work it towards the edge there okay so you can see it see if we're going to work this out a little bit more to the edge and we're going to just trim this down just a little bit. That was fun. Okay. Here we're going to just trim this out a little bit more. Here. And you know what? We're going to undercut a little bit right underneath here. Not that we're going to have it actually underneath it, but look like it's going underneath. So we're going to take this a little bit at an angle. And then bring this up. All right. Hopefully I didn't knock that out. Okay, good. And then we're going to bring this up underneath. All right. Let me take a look at it from back here so I can see it a little better. So I can clean it up. It's kind of tough to do that sometimes right in front of the camera. I can't always see everything. That's real small stuff. Okay, so that's his, that's his hand holding on to the to this post here and we're going to put a little notch at the top here all right just a little notch all right distinguish that from the post okay there you go see see that that looks good and we're going to have this kind of down flush with the all right that's good now uh, we're going to try to trim off this little edge right here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the where his hand is over. That's going to be the star, star section. Okay. So we're going to go right over here like this. And we're going to go straight across. All right. And we're going to go straight up to his hand. All right. And, that's, and then we're going to put the little stripes in. Uh, we can't put that many in. Let's see how many I put in here. At least two. One from the there, and then maybe, uh, let's see, red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white. Okay. So we need to put two more in here. All right. Very small. This is going to be a little tough to paint, but you'll see it. You'll see it come off come alive and you know it will all work out pretty good 
So let me take this back here because I'm going to take this and do the three, two extra lines that I have here. I want to be able to like, do this without chipping something out. Now you don't have to do this. You can draw it on or paint it on. You don't have to actually carve. But I think when you carve things, details to your piece, it just adds so much more. It takes a little more time, but this is kind of the fun stuff, you know, the, the details. All right, so there's the flag. All right, we got the flag there. We got the post, and we're gonna put a little bit like there's a little ball at the top here. So we're gonna just kind of put a little notch in there, like it's got that little. Okay, good, good. Now it looks fine. We're gonna actually round off. Uh, we gotta put fingers in for his hand so let's do that I'm gonna spray it just a tad so you can see it a little bit better okay that helps you to see it as well see all the rough spots we've got to take off sometimes the rough spots get really dark and then you know which parts have to come off okay great now we're gonna put folds in here yet too you know in his in his um, in in his elbow area here but we're going to go back here we're going to just trim this off a little bit and we're going to trim this off right here perfect all right so we're going to put our two remember three lines for four fingers so one two three okay that looks good and we're going to put the four fingers in so that's one. Get rid of that. Two. <laughs> it's a little stuck there. And three. Let's get this. All right. All right. Looks good. Looks real good. So I'm happy with that. All right. The hand's a little smaller than the other one, but that's all right. We're not going to go crazy about that. We can bring this up just a tad yet. Alright. I'm going to just round this off very, very slightly. Alright, bring this back so you can see it a little bit better. I know when I bring it up it gets a little on the fuzzy side. I haven't quite figured that out over the, the years, but I'm very happy with what I'm using the film with, so it's uh, done pretty well for me. All right, so that's his hands. And what we're going to do here, we're going to put a couple of folds in here. So what we're going to do is one. Okay, and we'll do that one over here as well. One. We'll put about two, maybe two or three in. And you're going to go up a little further. Do another one. Okay. Uh, we'll go up this way. It's a little easier. All right. All right, that looks good. Okay, a couple of folds in his jacket. All right, that looks nice. And now his face isn't done either. Uh, we've got to go back and do some cleanup there. And um, the pants look pretty good. What we're going to do here is we're going to do his mustache and stuff. So let's do that. I'm running out of juice here. There we go. And. What we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and, um, whoops, sorry about that. I mean, to knock that over. Uh, remember, get rid of all the. I'm also going to give him a couple of nostrils, so let's do that. You want to take a rounded gouge. Uh, one that's appropriate, what you think is going to be appropriate. So I'm going to put one here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to push up one. And try to, they're hard to even out sometimes. 